Hello everyone, happy to be here. In this video, I'm going to continue my tutorials about how to create virtual tour using Unity. We have this map system here and some hotspot images, some hot hotspot buttons on the map. But we don't have hotspot buttons on the scene we only have hotspot on map so in this video I'm going to show you how to create how to create hotspot images how to create hotspot buttons inside the panorama scenes for example we are going to place it here and another one here okay let's let's just start it let's get started by creating some an empty object i will add uh, oh yeah i will show you what i have here i have a hotspot icon here let me remove this game object simply drag and drop this hotspot png icon png image here inside this hierarchy window and we will have it here at the center of the scene we need to add a box collider then we will add a script to this hotspot object let's let's name it hotspot hotspot take a look at this script i will share the link of this page on the description of this video there is a raycast script example it is very simple like this and we are going to use it for our hotspot I'm going to create a script I call it hotspot hotspot and then we attach the script to this hotspot object then we need to edit the hotspot script I'm going to copy and paste some lines of from this example script. Place it here and then inside the update inside the op update inside the update I will copy and paste this part here. And this line this if statement is what we are going to work on here uh, I will change the scene when we click the hotspot I need to use unity engine dot scene manage and here scene manager dot One more public string variable, public string target scene, and we will go to the target scene when we click the hotspot. Okay, <coughs> now click this hotspot and here because we are inside scene 1 I'm going to go to scene 2 when I click this hotspot I type scene 2 <coughs> let me place it somewhere here and 
we can make a prefab of this hotspot object drag and drop it here and then on scene 2 we will reuse the hotspot object and then by clicking this hotspot we are going to open scene 1 ok let's try to run the tour we are on scene 1 and let's click this hotspot now we are on inside scene 2 let's click it again to go back to scene 1 yeah but there is a problem if you click the hotspot then you move your mouse you will rotate around like this and we don't want it to happen to fix this problem we can add some delay here I will make a function I am I enumerator change scene and your the delay should be for example 0 0.1 f less than one second then we change the scene we move it here and then instead of calling this line we call this function <coughs> Okay, let's try it again. Let's click this hotspot. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, we should call start go routine. back to scene 1 click and there is no more problem with the orientation we can click and move our mouse and nothing happen go back and this one is the this one is the hotspot from the map the hotspot from the scene okay uh, but <coughs> there will be another problem if we want to make some another hotspot for example if we move uh, if we duplicate this hotspot and we place it here you can see the hotspot orientation is uh, somehow it doesn't face toward the camera it should we should rotate it manually like this and there will be problem if we have very much too many hotspots we need to adjust the rotation and to solve this problem we are going to add a simple script to handle the orientation of the hotspots so the hotspot here we are going to add a tab to it I will add the tab 
we apply the tab to the hotspot rev up now we will have hotspot all the hotspot object in our scene will have this tab hotspot because we adjust the, the source of the brief up to have the to have that tag. Oh yeah, we need to create an empty game object. We place it at the cent at the center, and I name it face to me. And I'm going to add a script here. this name face to me and then let's edit the script here on the start I will call this function game object dot find game objects with Here we are going to do for each loop for each game object go in game object that find game objects with that. Then inside the for each loop go dot transform dot loop add and then the target object is ourselves. So I will type trans from the position. Okay, let's go back to our unit editor. There is no error, and this is our first host hotspot, and this is the center of the scene. I'm going to duplicate the hotspot for example here 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 or maybe up and something like this without adjusting the orientation one by one it should now when we have this script attached to this center object forgot to attach the script uh, face to me attach it here later we will be able to adjust all the hotspot to face the center object okay let's go to test it okay this is our first hotspot and if you check here the orientation of those hotspots are adjusted automatically and we can click any of them without problem Okay guys, that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you soon on my next videos. Bye bye.